12 days after welcoming year 2020, there are devastating natural disasters and war happening all over the universe. We need to strengthen our faith and continue to pray for the world, regardless of our religion. In Australia, there's bushfire. In Iran, there are bombing. This is caused between USA versus Iran, country versus country, people versus people. Puerto Rico, they have earthquake. Israel, torrential rain and super rare storm. Alabama, USA, they have storm and tornadoes. Indonesia, there are floods and landslides. Recently, we have Mexico, Popocatepeti volcano eruption, and now the Philippines. Taal volcano is once active. The eruption after 109 years of sleep when it was last erupted on January 30, 1911. The Al volcano erupted, killing 1,500 people and causing millions of pesos worth of damage. Examination of victims shows that all died due to hot stream and mud. Every living thing on the volcano island, with the possible exception of a rooster, was destroyed. The Philippine Institution of Volcanology and Seismology, PhilVox, raised an alert level 4 over Taal Volcano on Sunday evening, hours after periodic eruption took place at the crater. In its 7.30 p.m. bulletin, Phil Volks explained that alert level 4 meant that a hazardous eruption was imminent. As of 5.30 p.m., eruptive activity at the Alb Volcano main crater intensified a continuous eruption generated a tall of 10 to 15 kilometers stream-laden tephra column. Phil Vokes added that volcanic tremors has been recorded continuously since 11 o'clock in the morning, with 2.5 to 3.5 magnitude earthquakes rocking Tagaytay and Alitagdag Batangas respectively. The agency urged the total evacuation of the Alb Volcano Island and other high-risk areas. Areas in general north of the Al Volcano are advised to guard against the effect of heavy and prolonged ashfall. Therefore, thousands of residents has been evacuated due to the threats posed by the volcano. Let's offer a little prayer. We raise our hearts to you in the gratitude and the wonders of creation of which we are part. For your providence in sustaining us and our needs, and for your wisdom that guides the course of the universe. Global warming is upon us. Typhoons, flood, volcanic eruption, other natural calamities occur in increasing number and intensity. We turn to you, our loving Father, and beg forgiveness for our sins. We beseech you to inspire us all to grow into responsible stewards of your creation and generous neighbors to those in need. Amen.